What's up my fellow supporters, this is Mobile Gaming and Information back with an interesting character to be explained. Today we are going to learn about a mystical beast requested by one of my subscribers. Before we jump to the video, I wanted to notify that please comment in the comment section about the character you want me to explain. It will be so easier for me to arrange to the topics I'm going to work on and also strengthen my channel. And now, here we go. The mystical beast is called Minotaur. Minotaur is an ancient Greek monster, half bull and half human. The head and legs of Minotaur is in bull structure and other parts are human. Even though most parts of the body is human, those body parts hold high muscularity for humans to have. Let's take a good look here. We can see how big and muscular the upper body and lower body is. We can also see some evidence from various artists how they portray Minotaur. Big, strong and aggressive. The superior abilities of Minotaur are superhuman strength. It is believed that Minotaur have insane strength. If we use the bench press strength test, Minotaur can leap up to 2500 kilograms and if we compare that force to modern world situations Minotaur can smash walls and easily flip cars. Minotaur have giant horns with this it will ram or bash into anything with sheer force. A human cannot withstand this force breaking most of the bones and crushing internal organs and splashing blood. The weakness of this monster are, it moves slow. This is because of its heavy body weight. No one knows how much does Minotaur weight and its height, but it is predicted that could be weighing around 600 to 1000 pounds or 272 kilograms to 500 kilograms with height of 6 to 8 feet. Minotaur is widely known for its massive physical structure. But the facts are saying it lacks intelligence. We will know the evidence of Minotaur lacking intelligence in further explanation. Minotaur also angry and hungry mostly. These unstable feelings and emotions also supporting the fact that it lack intelligence. Where all this began and what is the story of Minotaur? King Minos was son of the glorious god Zeus. When Minos inherited the Minoan throne, his authority was disputed. He responded by sacrificing a bull to the gods then asking the gods to send him another bull which he vowed to sacrifice as well. Poseidon heard about Minos' offer and responded by sending a bull for the sacrifice. Coming from a god, the bull was incredibly powerful and beautiful. Its coat was dazzling white and its muscles were like granite. The people of Minoa, including Minos, were amazed by the bull. And Minos decided to spare the great beast and sacrifice another in its place. When Poseidon learned that Minos had broken his vow and kept the bull alive, he was furious. He decided to curse Minos. At last, he decided that he will make Minos' wife, Pasiphae, fall madly in love with the bull. The next morning, Pasiphae woke with a new longing in her heart. She could not rest until she had the attention of the great bull. And later on, she received the attention ending up getting pregnant. After few weeks, Pasiphae gave birth to Minotaur. When King Minos saw the Minotaur and discovered his wife's infidelity, he was infuriated. He ordered Daedalus to build a cage to imprison the child. Daedalus studied the child and again he came up with a solution. The child was already strong and Daedalus predicted that he would grow up to be so powerful 
that he could rip through any cage. However, he did not seem to be very intelligent. Therefore, Daedalus decided to build a massive puzzle to trap the beast and the first labyrinth was created. When it was finished, the Minotaur was placed in the center of the puzzle where he had no chance of finding his way up. Later, King Minos waged war against Athens and won. As a punishment, he demanded that Athens send seven young men and seven young women each year to be sacrificed. The young people were stripped of weapons and sent into the labyrinth to feed the Minotaur. After Athens had sacrificed countless young men and women to the bloodthirsty Minotaur, Theseus, the prince of Athens, decided to put an end to the carnage. Theseus, with the help of Minos' daughter, gets to the labyrinth and killed Minotaur. However, the fight is not easy. The fight between Minotaur and Theseus became an iconic scene among Greek culture. Theseus used a sword and his strength to defeat Minotaur. This is the story of Minotaur. Minotaur is popular in fantasy and sci-fi. He appears in Dungeons and Dragons, Doctor Who, Wrath of the Titans, God of War, Mobile Legend, and more. He is widely known for his hybrid body and strength. Minotaur is not a friendly character as well. The Minotaur has gone down in history as a bloodthirsty, mindless monster. He killed innocent, unarmed victims and feasted on their bodies. However, this description is given by the Athen people who had a reason to hate the Minotaur. They were forced to supply victims for him to eat. It's possible that Minotaur was not so monstrous. He might even have been viewed as a hero by the people in his native kingdom, Minoa. Just imagine, you are in middle of the unknown place, surrounded by walls and dim light. You are slowly walking with a direction but ending up in the same place, or sometimes worse. You getting to the deeper side of the maze. All of a sudden, you feel something is coming in front of you from the darkness. You can see shadow of a large, monstrous creature. The Minotaur rushes, running it in its four limbs towards you. Another part of myself feel like Minotaur life is a total tragedy. He doesn't have a caring parents, he doesn't get love, education or even glimpse of the outside world. He is trapped in the labyrinth forever. He forced to live in the darkness and bloods of humans. His life is sad, but his potential is admirable. He could be a hero if he was treated right. What do you think about Minotaur? Is he good or evil? Does he inspire you to build such muscular body? Does he look cool? Comment below and I will reply to all of you. Like, subscribe and share for more. See you again in the next video. Peace.